Happy 25th anniversary, Beyblade. <laughs> so, so yeah, uh, Lucar Sharona here, and I'm going to be covering what was revealed from Takara told me uh, hours earlier today because it's already it was already uh, this July 17th in Japan, and that was the day when the very first Beyblade set first released. That being Ultimate Dragoon, Ultimate Frosted Dronzer, and Ultimate Saizo. So yeah, this is a pretty big deal. So, 25 years, I was probably around 4 or 5-ish. I don't remember. No way, I was probably 5. I was probably 5, yeah. 5 when released. But when it came to came over here in America, or in Canada, or in this case, I was 7. So yeah, let's begin. So the revealed is the oh gosh, all the protagonist Beyblades re revealed made into Beyblade X system. So in this case, we actually know about Storm Pegasus and Victory Valkyrie, but now we get to see full color. But this is also our first reveal of. Dragoon Storm. Yeah. I know the name because I grew up it's Storm. But yeah, um yeah, Dragon Storm. So um yeah, this is interesting because what well, turns out that this is actually a set that's coming out next year on Beyblade Day as if last I checked. Jeez, they revealed this and then that they Give us a bomb shot that they have to wait so long. Oh gosh, that is absolutely painful. It's an amazing reveal. Don't get me wrong, but how they kind of tell us what we had to do to get it, it's just a pain in the butt. But yeah, uh, we'll actually cover through all the Beyblades that's been revealed, starting from the recent generation Beyblade X and its a trans sword. <laughs> oh, um. Yeah, this is not a bit. This is what's a little. This is probably the most disappointing because it's just your typical Dren Sword. In its anime colors, this main release, the starter, this is your same Dren Sword. Nothing changed. The only thing is the foil. The foil of Dren Sword's chip sticker is, is a shiny foil. So that's the only thing that made it special. But everything else is just what you get from a regular starter, which is a uh, transor blade, 360, and flat bit. So yeah, that's uh, that's something special. Honestly, if you if I were had to guess, it's probably they probably did the release on the next year because by this point they probably will stop production on transor, so they're. Adds a little bit of significance for this release. That's my guess. It's a bit of a letdown that this they had to. I mean, if they just change up the colors, I think we would all be fine. Like, bring back the starter recolor. That one has a bit more uniqueness. I would take another one of that. But yeah, for the winder launcher, it is the. Standard, that standard X winder launcher, black. Nothing special except it's engraved with, it's printed on Bayley 25th anniversary. So that's neat. I mean, that's cool. It's just, it's just your typical launcher. They, uh, they could have done something different with the colors, but they didn't. Oh, well, they definitely are trying to aim for the anime accuracy mostly but change up for x because it's still recent but yeah we'll move on to the last generation that ended last year and that's with really verse with victory valkyrie and yeah i actually like it actually when i remember when they first announced the blade design it looks really good i like how they did this, this it. And we have actually had full renders of it too, right here. Because uh, Bailey Burris has a bit more complex design going. It's 
to say is more spread out, I guess you could say. It's not everyone's cup of tea, at least for those uh, growing up with the previous generation. Might not be a fan of the uh, over-designed look of Burst, but I do appreciate what Burst brought and how they translate X is very well, nicely done. Uh, if I'm so, the, the parts here is the Valkyrie blade, the Victor Valkyrie, and it comes to the it, the belt contact points is actually pretty nicely done. It, the forge disc of the original was implemented very well, just giving it uh, three blades. The three bl like literally, it kind of gives the illusion of three blade attack. Like, it's the original, but also it kind of gives a bigger slope. So it's pretty much fairly similar to, uh, to Dren Sword in some way. Now, the rest of the parts here is interesting to give it a, uh, let me just check to make sure it is, uh, yeah, 260. Um, as far as I'm always aware, this is not a fairly good part. <laughs> The uh, two protrusions are a little too sticking out. It's too tall, so it makes it burst easily. I guess that's they chose it because it would reference uh, burst the burst system. They are aware. Oh gosh, but who knows? This is the right spin, and who knows? We'll see. So the also we wanted. I want to address that they actually kind of. Kind of teased out our new bit here, and that's the rubber excel. So it's a kind of a slightly variant kind of uh, gimmicky bit, or rubber tip. So yeah, that makes sense. We'll I'll cover up more about it later because we're going to be seeing again. So next is the launcher. It's a string launcher, a blue shade. It looks similar. It looks a little. Brighter than the, the uh, starter set. The, the uh, start entry set. I forgot. The one that the first stadium set. This is a similar shade of blue, but this is also similar in color that uh, Vault had used in the anime the first season. So that's a nice cool reference here. So, um, yeah, we'll move over. We'll ha we have Storm Pegasus. And it comes with a um, 370 rubber Excel. So, yeah. So, we repeat it in our part. Makes sense. The original had a rubber tip. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm going to also say 370 is an interesting choice. This is, happens to be the same part used for Aero Pegasus. So, which is obviously makes sense. Alex, um, yeah, uh, the Air Pegasus, yeah, they sh it's the homage of this, of the Pegasus line. As for the Beyblade itself here, the remake, I mean, it's translated well. I mean, I mean, I have no other words to say, but like, it's, it's, it's just translated well. It's like, this is like a, this is the newest, the newest generation of Beyblade. Beyblade Axe is a return to metal contact points, full model, full metal. So this is obviously the direction they're going for, and thus uh, translating in uh, a metal fight Beyblade is, is going to be easy to translate in comparison to Burst because uh, the contacts in Burst are plastic, so they had to change up a lot of the MFB base into the burst system, but this one's way easier. Now, if they made it around 33 grams, which is around the same weight as the original Storm Pegasus, then yeah, I mean, we got ourselves a, a remake that has potential of being viable, but at the same time, I heard that Storm Pegasus itself sucks in the meta, in the metal fight meta. So, eh, hybrid real, I think you've ever heard. So yeah, 
we'll move on to the string launcher and yeah unfortunately i don't know too well of meta fight because i that's the one generation i skipped due to personal reasons that's uh, yeah it's not gen one because i am very open to to burst and very much over to X. It's just that I missed out on Malphite. So I'm assuming that Jinga Jinka uses a string launcher, a light blue. I don't know. I'm just. This is pretty cool. Another string launcher, and it's like apparently another anime accurate recolor. So yeah, that's cool. So now we are moving to my generation. Back to the shoot. Classic, given by the you know the Spotify, you know what I mean. But yeah, Dragon Storm. Yeah. Oh man, I love how they did, did the Beyblade. Look, I to get what people are saying. It looks square, but what do you expect from from <laughs> uh? The Beyblade, that is the original generation of Beyblade, where the main metal is the weight disc, a thin weight disc, or lower like hexagonal or such. It's supposed to be, if I'm correctly, is supposed to be ten, but I guess they reduce it down to eight just because they need to make sure that the design of Dragon Storm works. I mean, it it's fine. I'm not too offended that it, they made a weird shape. You gotta have to account for the fact that these are, that we're trying to translate a very different system to to a brand new system. That's the whole challenge. And I think the overall design looks fine. The only thing I'm concerned about is weight. It's gonna, it's most likely gonna be collapsed. The contact plates would have been fine, but the problem is that the Karatomi has a big issue. It's like it's like they don't realize not accepting it more like because they think oh we should try to make sure they stay true to the original, so the weight must be emulated. That's what we get for Dronzer Trigger, and they're very light, and they're not considered viable for that reason. So that sucks. It's like you want to pay homage to the Bagatan generation, but you are too chicken to make them viable. Or more or less, they don't realize they're not making them viable for that reason. But yeah, um, they could have had more metal, unless they surprise us and show that, oh, there is, there is metal, there is uh, more metal than you realize. I hope so, but... I'm pretty sure it's not. Oh, actually, here's an interesting detail I've noticed on the blade. Uh, this was probably... Yeah, no, wait. Trigger draws or blades are were rounded on the bottom. If you actually look at the blade under the weight disc, between the ratchet, you can actually see, like, little bumps sticking out. That is a cool detail, because Dragoon has that. Trigger and Jaws are dozen because their original blade base are actually completely round. So that's a cool attention to the detail they did here. So yeah, um, that's enough. Well, actually, I need to address the part for this one too because it's 460 uh, rubber XL. So 460 makes sense because if you understand how they did the design, the uh. The ratchets on the base combo, the uh, stock combo, they make the, the ratchets according to aligning with the blade. That's what what they usually do, majority. Combo Drake, which is a homage to Dragoon Storm, overall Dragoon line. It is also a 460, so it makes sense. That Dragon Storm will also have 460. Yes, it's four is not a great ratchet. It's prone to bursting, but I mean, what? What are you gonna do? Let's be honest. It it fits. It's the right 
it's gonna be they're gonna they're gonna bring a four, a four back. It's gonna be a for a blade that has four non contact points. But yeah, um, yeah. So and also it's a rubber Excel blue tip, just like Dragoon's Storm the original. So let's get to the uh, launcher and. Uh, <laughs> I love this. It's actually the anime. Yeah, of course, I addressed it before, but they actually did the colors. So this is our actually first look at the left winder launcher. And <laughs> they made it based the color off of Tyson or Chuck Coe's original first left launcher. So yeah, if you actually pay attention to the very first season of Beyblade, the left launcher is actually a little bulkier, and uh, and it's a red rip dragon winder cord. It's of course they ro changed the rotation of the the grips, but this is basically the very same they brought. It's also longer too. I don't understand what was the intention. I guess they wanted. Yes, being for the very first left spin Beyblade they ever designed, they wanted to have a little extra power, so they made the winder longer. They did the same, they brought it back for this one, because if you compare to the, uh, yeah, if you look at the, the, the standard right launcher, the, the winder cord is shorter in comparison to the Dragon. So yeah, they it's they brought it back. So yeah, so back to the whole point. So what's actually interesting overall about this is uh, the Dragoon, Pegasus, and Valkyrie all have brand new bits, and that's rubber Excel. So I don't know how what kind of plastic, what kind of rubber they're be using, but. Who knows? Could be effective, could be not. I actually kind of figured that it would have used Excel on Valkyrie, given the uh, the given the driver's design. It the uh, Excel actually looks fairly similar, so it actually will actually looks right for for uh, for Valkyrie. So yeah, but uh, that's for Dragoon and Pegasus. Um, I mean, they're fitting. They're they have rubber, but I guess they didn't. They only doing one rubber attack bit, so they couldn't just make it uh, regular flat rubber. Eh, that's a shame. But I, I mean, they they would have been closer for Dragoon and, and Pegasus, but they didn't. I would have made the, the the rubber excel for a uh, dragon phantom instead because of the the size of it. But yeah, so yeah, I'm okay. So let's get to the point about how you get this because this is apparently going to be a little more trickier to get from what I heard. And it's that you this is an entire set, and you have to pre-order it from the Takir Tomi Mall. I actually have set up an account as well as have a proxy account to ship it over. So I have technically have a way to get it. But other than that, um, let's see. Um, other than that, it's like. I honestly hope that they brought they bring this over. I mean, hopefully, retailer stores in Japan will be available. So, like those who don't want to bother trying to sign up and such, and, uh, will be able to get it. But this also brings also a question to how Hasbro will get them. Yeah, we'll just cut out. A Dren Sword because that's not gonna gonna matter. They're not gonna do us do an anniversary set. They're gonna make these separate. So actually, for Valkyrie and Storm Pegasus, 
it's interesting. You don't. I don't know if Hasbro will make them like starters, like, like a starter for them. Whether will they be a, a deluxe starter or will they just make them boosters? That I have no idea. But Dragoon, on the other hand, it's gotta have to be the deluxe starter. We'll have to come up with this launcher. Because I, as far as I'm aware, the Takara Tomi has not made a entry launcher, a left entry launcher. Because if you, so to put it in perspective, so back with Burst, when Hasbro was making launchers, a basic uh, standard cheap and small launchers, it would include a left and right. So the whole uh, rotation of which launcher you want to use, which baby you want to use, is a lot easier to get. So they made Dragoon back then with burst easy, like a as as a booster because you still have the access to a left spin launcher because it's dual spin launcher. But as for baby X, it's one to win, one to one, and as far as I'm aware, Takara told me are the ones designing the Beyblades, even the Hasbro exclusive. And we do not see a entry left spin launcher. That's that's all I'm aware of, so I don't know what this means. If they make it, then that tells me what they're going to do for Dragoon. Oh wait, 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 wait! I just realized something. Yeah, I, I need to retract what I said. So, um, Dragoon, I mean, so the Valkyrie and Storm Pegasus—they're gonna have to be starters because they did, they 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 did Dronzer starters. But this also changes up things. What did this like? Would this mean that uh? All three will be recolors, or will they be in the original colors? Because Dronzer was unique. That's a for right now. We don't know if Dronzer is going to be blue. I mean, it's going to have a blue original recolor release. It might be a double pack with Drigger, maybe. I don't know, but we'll find out soon enough. But yeah, I don't. I'm not much else to say. So. Yeah, I hoping uh, I don't need to resort to the Keratoni store to get it using proxy server, but we'll find out soon enough uh, if uh, stores like uh, Basin Bricks, Premier, Ball of Bays, or Everwish will list them. If they do, great. I'll just order from one of them. So, yeah. Uh, let me down in the, the comments down below. Is any of these Beyblades uh, that catches your interest? For me, I'm just happy with Dragoons finally getting some attention. Valkyrie looks great. I mean, the Pegasus looks fine as it is because it's like I didn't grow up with, uh, I didn't experience Malphite, so I didn't fully to extent. So I don't, I don't have a strong connection with that one. So I do apologize. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. So, yeah. Until next time. Bye-bye.